welcome how to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here from what we have here you can write this difference of two squares and that becomes x plus y into brackets open bracket x minus y plus brackets equals to 65 on this side then from here 65 can be written either as 1 times 65 65 times 1 5 times 13 or 13 times 5 then we discover here that both x and y are a member of positive integer as solution we are looking for a member of integer okay integer solution then the first bracket here which is x plus y should be greater than the second bracket here which is x minus y so the first number therefore has to be greater than the second so yeah this we can take this so we go with this also we can take this we also go with this so therefore we have two cases you can say we have case one when 65 is written as 65 times 1 that is this equation now becomes x plus y into brackets and open bracket x minus y plus bracket now equals to 65 times 1 then it implies 65 equals to x plus y equals to 65 so we can write it and we have x plus y is equals to 65 and x minus y equals to 1 then when we solve this equation these two equations simultaneously we can add here yeah, to eliminate y x plus x that's 2x and y minus y cancel out equals to 65 minus 1 that's 64. here we divide both sides by 2 divide here by 2 divide here by 2 yeah this cancelled each other and we discover that x here equals to 32. then use any of this equation to get y from equation 2 here if this is 1 this is 2 we have x minus y equals to 1. So we can say that yeah, x which is 32 minus y equals to 1. So solve for y here. We can take y here minus y there. So we have 32 minus 1. Now equals to y. That is 32 minus 1. That's 31 equals to y so y is equals to 31 and the solution here form of x comma y is now equals to x which is 32 then comma y which is 31 so we have this as the first solution to this problem then also we consider the second case yeah, that's case 2. But this one we have 13 times 5. But this equation we have, which is x plus y into brackets, open bracket x minus y, is now equals to 13 times 5. But this here, we have x plus y is equals to 13, then x minus y equals to 5 then from here also we add these two equations to eliminate y x plus x that's 2x and y eliminated equals to 13 plus 5 we have 18 then divide both side by 2 here yeah? by 2 also this side by 2 2 cancelled each other and we have x equals to 18 over 2 that's 9. So x equals to 9. 
Okay. Also, we get the value of y. You can use the first equation here, which is x plus y equals to 13. Then x here, that's 9 plus y equals to 13. To so take 9 to this side, we have y equals to 13 minus 9, which implies y equals to 4. That is the second set of solution, which is x comma y. In this case, you can say x2 comma y2. So that is equals to 9 comma 4. Then we check from here if this solution satisfies this given problem. Now when x is 32 and y is 31. This equation becomes 32 squared minus 31 squared is equal to 65 from this side. Then 31, 32 squared, that's 32, then 32. And this becomes 2 times 2, 4, 2 times 3, 6, 2 times 3 times 2. 6, 8 times 3, 9. And this becomes 4. 6 plus 6 is 12. Write 2. Take 1. Then 1 plus 9, 10. So, 32 squared, we have 1024 minus. Also, 31 squared, multiply 31 times 31. That this 1 times 1, 1, 1 times 3, 3, 3 times 1. 3, 3 times 3, 9. So here we have 1, 6, then 9. So this gives us 961. This is equal to 65 on this side. Then here, when we subtract 1024 plus 9 minus 961, so here, we have oh okay i think there is an error with the first solution here so let's check from what we have this first solution is not right so we need to see the case one that we checked i think there is a mistake over there for that case one we discovered that Case 1, we search, we have 65 times 1. Okay, so which we have x plus y now equals to 65, x minus y equals to 1. So this is where the mistake is. So when we had here, we have 2x and this becomes 65 plus 1. So that should be 66. Mistakenly, we did 65 minus 1. So sorry about that. So divide both sides by 2 here. Yeah? 2 cancel each other. So here we have x equals to 66 over 2, that's 33. So if x is 33, we can get y from this second equation. That is 33 minus y equals to 1. So take minus y here, take y, 1 here. So we have 32. Which is 33 minus 1 equals to y. That is y is equals to 32. So that means the first solution here shouldn't be 32 comma 31, should be 33 comma 32. So that when we check now from the equation to see if they satisfy we have x square so that's 33 square minus y square 32 square is equals to 65 on this side that is here 33 square we have 33 times 33 so 3 times 3 9 3 times 3 9 3 times 3 9 8 times 3, 9. So here you go 9. We have 8. 
in one zero so one thousand and eighty nine minus thirty two square one thousand and twenty four is it equals to sixty five on this side then when we subtract here uh, this gives us sixty five which is equals to sixty five yeah left hand side is equals to the right hand side and also checking for the second equation nine and four so you see nine square minus four square is it equals to 65 here nine square that gives us 81 minus four square 16 is it equals to 65 here and it's one minus 16 that gives us 65 which is equals to 65 also left hand side equals to the right hand side and we conclude that these two set of solutions here now which are member of positive integers satisfying this given problem thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the description bell share this video give it a thumbs up put your comments see you next class and bye for now